What is up everybody? I am back with another YouTube video and I am back with another mock. I know it's been a long time, but I am back. And in this video we're talking about the new mock. Well not really new, but the Pagani Hyra mock. I've been posting it a lot lately on YouTube Shorts or on TikTok. And I have now decided to make a video about it and how I built it. Without further ado, let's start on how I did the front. So for the front, it is pretty simple. It is a little sideways technique. And for the headlights, I used roller skates and I painted them white. That's why they kind of look like that. But I couldn't find any white roller skates, so I had to paint them. And it's just a bunch of little plates put together with a curved slope right there. And you attach it. And to attach this tile right here, and this plate on top, I use snot bricks. As you can see, a little snot brick right there. And snot brick over on the other side to connect the other plate on that side. Little snot bricks right there to attach them like that. As you can see. And to attach this, I use a jumper plate right there with the one by one plate on top of the jumper plate. And to connect it, I use this, I forgot the piece name, but I use this piece to connect it with the clip piece. It's a one by one clip piece. And I just attach it like that. Oh, I just attach it like this. And it stays on. Now for the bottom of the front, I use the method that they use for the Lego Countach. It is basically the same thing. This is the, how the bottom looks like. Little one by three. These two by two plates right here. This one has one side with that's smooth. You connect it with curved slopes. And you use the two of this piece. I don't know what is this called. But use that piece and to connect it to the base of the car you use some one by one round pieces with the hole in the middle and use this one by one piece that's modified with a bar with it. it looks like this you attach it and you basically attach the whole thing for the side of the pagani i used some wedge plates and a curved slope right there as you can see and to attach it to there, I use bracket pieces to attach them. And to add the shape or to add up to the shape to the fender, I use this piece right here with two one by twos, or I can add up to a one by four as well. And I use a one by four tile, a T slope, and the same piece I use for the bottom of the front for the Pagani with a little one by one modified brick or modified tile with a little snot right there to make the mirror. And I just attach it to the little side next to the steering wheel. Same with the other side to make it look much better and to add more shaping to it. For the rear window section of the Pagani, I use these snot bricks attached to a two by two plate and so I can add this piece right here with a wedge plate attached to this brick and I touch it like this. And for this black section of the little piece I did, I attach the roof and I attach it right here for the Pagani. I put that right there. And for the rear window itself, I use this hinge piece right here. And then I use a two by four tile or my bad plate. And I use a 2x3 tile with these little cut off 1x1s. And I attach it like this in the middle. And I attach it with a little spaces right there. Just like that. Now finally for the rear. This is how I did the rear lights. I used this bracket piece. But with three on each side. Three of these 1x1 one one round clear red tiles. And to attach it to the fender itself right there. I basically do this little thing right here with a little one by three wedge plate right there and a little two by two right there to attach it to the bracket. 
and then I use a tile, two curved slopes right there that are two by twos, and I attach it to the fender like this, right there. And for this little triangle piece right here, I use hinge piece. And this is, I think, from the Ferrari set that came out, I think, this year. I attach it to the hinge piece right there, and I put it right here like this. For the exhaust part of the Pagani, I use these little binoculars right here. And then I use this bracket piece attached to a 1x2 with a jumper plate right here. And that one piece I use a lot from this for this box is that one piece like this. I use binocular right here. And right here, you have to use a 1x1 one one stud with a hole in it. If you don't, the diffuser won't work. I think this is the diffuser. If it's not the diffuser, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forget everything. But if you don't use one with the hole, it will not work because you have to attach this one by two curve slope in the middle so it can be even on each side. And then you attach this whole set right here for it to look good. And then you attach this diffuser right here. You do have to do some slight modifications. You have to put this binoculars as high as you can so this can fit in. But once you figure it out, it will fit. Uh, as you can see, it cannot fit right now because I have to like fix the whole thing. But for the little grill piece right here, it is this right here. This little bracket piece. Oh, it fell. This little bracket piece right here with the one by one stud with this little grill piece with the one by one stud right there with the tile. And you attach it to the light like this. So it can look like this. You attach it like this, and once everything is put together, you have a Pagani Hyra. Hopefully, you now know how to make the Pagani Hyra. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for new content. I am currently working on a Ferrari F40. Hint, hint, it is not my own mock. I'm making bricks, blocks, and mocks Ferrari F40. I am making it white. But it's not going to just be a plain old Ferrari F40. Another hint. L, B, W, K. If you know what that means, you basically know what's coming up next. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.